VLAN stands for Virtual LAN or Virtual Local Area Network. It's something that makes building large computer networks a lot more practical and also quite a bit cheaper. So in its most basic form, a computer network is just a bunch of computers and perhaps some other stuff such as, you know, printers and whatever, uh, connected to a network switch, uh, and then maybe that network switch is also connected to a router which is connected to the internet so that the, the devices on the network can also connect to the internet and not just to each other. And uh, in theory, you can use this sort of network at any scale you want. So if you have a really big company, thousands of empl uh, employees, massive office, loads of computers, well you could still have a network like this. Just one massive network, all the devices can talk to each other, all the devices can connect to the internet, but having one massive network that everything is plugged into is not a very good idea for a number of reasons that we're not going to go into uh, in this video. But because of that, what you'll often see is that instead of using one massive network, big companies, you know, big offices and such, will use uh, a number of smaller networks. So instead of having one big network, they split it up into some number of smaller networks that are used for, let's say, different departments, or maybe every floor in the building has its own network. Um, it depends on your organization, on on how you do that but the, the basic principle is you don't use one big network you use multiple networks that operate independently and then you know at the end you connect all of them to a router or to multiple routers and then to the internet so that they can also access the internet if they need to now of course one way of doing that would be by using lots of equipment so you know give all of these networks their own switches their own cabling uh, and all of that kind of stuff. But that's going to get very expensive very quickly because, you know, buying loads of small switches is more expensive than buying just a few big switches. And also, they all need independent cabling. So it takes a lot of hardware and is therefore also quite expensive to have these different networks operating in the same building or perhaps multiple buildings if it's a really big company. This is where VLANs come in. So what you can do with VLAN is you can use a single switch to operate multiple networks. So let's say that we have a 24 port switch. Okay, so it's a switch that you can plug 24 things into. Now, instead of using that as a, as a normal switch that you just connect things to and they can then all talk to each other, what we can do with this special switch, and it, it needs to support this functionality, is we can split it up into multiple logical switches. So let's say the first eight ports belong to VLAN 1, the second eight ports belong to VLAN 2, and the, the last eight ports belong to VLAN 3. So we've created three so-called VLANs on this switch. In other words, we've split up this switch into three logical switches. So it's still one physical box with 24 ports on it, but it now behaves as though it's three independently operating smaller switches. So this also means that computers that are in the same VLAN, so connected to the same VLAN on the switch, can talk to each other, but they cannot talk to anything that is not on the same VLAN, because although this switch is just one physical box, it behaves as if it's three separate switches. There is no way that the computers on VLAN 1 are able to talk to anything that is connected to VLAN 2. The switch does not allow for that to happen. And of course, you don't have to split up the ports in, a, in this you know, visually appealing way. If for some reason you have really weird cable management in your uh, patch box, then of course, feel free to to do it like this, you know, to have, you know, some random ports assigned to VLAN 1 and then some other random ports assigned to VLAN 2, that's perfectly possible as well. But the idea is that you, as the administrator, you can log into that switch and you can configure which ports on that device belong to the first VLAN and to the second one and so on and so forth. And this way you can have multiple different networks using 
fewer different switches, fewer physical switches, because one switch can act as if it's multiple different switches. Another cool thing about VLANs is that you can also span them across multiple different switches. So, if I have two switches, which each have three VLANs, one, two, and three, I can configure these switches in such a way that VLAN 1 on switch 1 is equivalent to VLAN 1 on switch 2. So devices on VLAN 1 on switch 1 <laughs> are effectively on the same network as devices on VLAN 1 on switch 2. So if I have a computer sitting in VLAN 1 that is connected to switch number 1, then it can connect to any other computer that is also connected to VLAN 1 on switch 1, but also to any computer that is connected to VLAN 1 on switch 2. So the way this works internally is by adding some extra information to the Ethernet frames that are being sent, and that information is which VLAN this frame is meant to be in. So let's say that we have a computer connected to VLAN 1 on switch 1, and it wants to send an Ethernet frame to a computer that is also on VLAN 1, but on switch 2. So it's going to send that frame to the first switch, because that's what it's connected to. That switch will then receive that frame, and it'll stick an extra bit of information onto that frame, and that information says, this frame is meant to go into VLAN 1. Then it'll forward that frame onto switch number 2, and when switch number 2 receives the frame, it then knows this frame may only be sent out to a computer connected to VLAN 1. And so that way the frame will not leave VLAN 1 as it goes from one switch to another. So all the information for every VLAN is sent across that same cable, but it has this extra bit of information attached to it so that the switch that receives it knows for which VLAN this information is. And by the way, that connection is called a trunk, and it's not any kind of special cable, you know, usually it's just an Ethernet cable, just like anything else, uh, but the connection between these two different switches is called the trunk, just so that you know. And those are the basics of VLAN, Virtual Local Area Network. I hope you enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.